Hello friends, welcome. My name is Sarveshwar. In this video, we would learn how to run vector error correction model in ALUs. So friends, uh, let me describe the data, spot and futures data of energy index. So this is the data, log price data uh, for spot and futures prices of energy index maintained by MCX exchange of India. Okay friends. This is a daily price data. You could take high frequency or any other data for any related series. It could be spot futures, it could be spot options or any other like GDP, export, these all things you can include here. So when you want to run a VCA model, we need to start with a co-integration test with appropriate lag length. Uh, in eViews, we have some option just to identify the correct optimum number of lags by running a var model so we select these two variables spot and futures prices log prices actually and then select right click open as var okay friends then we select unrestricted var here these are two price series at level and some arbitrary number you just let it be as it is and then click ok don't change anything friends ok so now we are having some output we don't need to just go for that just go to view button and go to leg structure and select leg length criteria okay friends view leg structure leg length criteria and put 20 30 whatever you want up to which leg you want to measure it and here we are having some criteria for selecting appropriate number of lags okay friends so as per AIC it's coming to be 19 and for SIC it's coming to be 6 so I am taking here anything you can consider here and just need to mention that in paper I am because the lag from SI is uh, so the lag from AIC is 19 that is very high because the market is not that inefficient in India so what I am doing here simply you can do that as well but I am what I am doing here I am taking SIC and lag length is 6 for VAR model so it means when you run a VEC model it would be minus 1 so it's 6 so for VECA model or Johansson co-integration model, it would be 5, 6 minus 1, 5. So now we need to run a vector. Uh, now we need to run Johansson co-integration, angle Granger co-integration or any co-integration method or just first difference of them. If it's stationary, you would say they are co-integrated. So you can see how to do co-integration test. I am just showing here also. You simply go to the select the price series, go to quick group statistics Johansson co-integration ok and then leg length 5 click ok the interpretation here is the p value is less than 0.05 so we say there is co-integration if you want to see deep, uh, like how to run Johansson co-integration and how to interpret it just go to my earlier video ok friends here I want to save time in this video so now we know we have two price series sport and futures and they are co-integrated in that case we need to run VCA model we cannot run VAR model okay friends so we go to selecting this and then open and then go to VAR modeling and click on VCA model here we can see it would take difference of endogenous variables by default and this co-integration tab let it be 3 and number of uh, co-integrating vector is 1 because we are having two series it cannot have more than one vector of co-integration now put appropriate number of lags it's 5 6 minus 1 5 and click ok ok friends the sample size let it be as it is don't change anything ok friends so now this is our output from VCM result here we can see the co-integration vector is 1 minus 1 1.05 if you want to do some kind of test you could also do that by putting some restriction on them uh, but the purpose of this video is only to how to run VEC model and here if you want to infer something from it just go to these square brackets just go to the square brackets those are showing T statistics if it is of more than 1.96 that lag or that coefficient is significant for uh, VEC analysis okay friends but since uh, suppose it's only 5 lags if it is 20 then how to interpret them so in that case just to identify the lead lag relationship between the variables 
v run vecm ganja causality test that i have shown in my earlier, um, earlier video okay friends this is the way we run vecm model in e views if you want another video or other other videos please let me know i will try to upload them uh, and if you like my videos please subscribe and like thanks friends keep watching